Hello everyone, today we are going to learn a beautiful element, the dragon tail in two variations, a basic and a more complex beautiful variation for those who have excellent flexibility and strength. Watch the video to the end. Even if a complicated variation is not yet available to you, it's worth looking at to get inspired. So let's go. Perform one basic climb and then make a chopper from the pole. Please note, we are not performing a full invert V but a chopper for hooking of the inside leg. To do this, it is better to raise the pelvis to shoulder level. That is even a little lower than you see in the video. And then cling the pole with your inside leg, press your thigh and shin to the pole. Your sides should be pressed against the pole throughout the approach and accordingly in the element. We do not do the inside leg hang itself, but immediately go to the shelf of flat line element. That is, put straight inside arm down. Next, you need to put the bent outside arm behind your back in the thumb up grip. And the next step is to lower the inside hand along the pole, lowering the body as low as possible too. Ideally, there should be an almost straight line from the arm to the lower back with the slight arch in the chest. The shoulder is lowered, the elbow is strong, can be slightly bent. The lower hand seems to lower the pole down, the wrist is straight. Your outside hand continues to hold the pole behind your back. Try to keep your form approximately parallel to the floor, do not lower your your elbow down and of course you should still feel grip in your side in no case do not lie down completely on your outside arm and make sure that the outside wrist is straight do not overload it the head is tilted slightly back that is do not press the chin to your chest if you feel comfortable in this position we proceed to the next step start moving the outside bent leg forward straightening it in front and then and start straightening the inside leg also forward into the chopper position. That is, your torso, pelvis and legs will be in the same position as if you were doing a basic invert V. The legs are spread apart and taking forward parallel to the floor. And just like in a chopper, we try keep the pelvis at the top, straightening the back without relaxing it. Pay attention that you should have grip with your inside thigh. That is, you do not need to move the inside leg much to the side. So, you have completed the preparatory position for the dragon tail or you can also say a variation a dragon tail chopper make sure that you feel comfortable in this position you should feel good support of the lower arm side grip and inside thigh grip also the outside arm helps you a little but do not lie down on it completely if this position is comfortable then your next step is to start bringing your free leg back pay attention when we take our free leg back our head also goes back more and we try to arch chest a little more. We do this in order to keep the balance in this element. Your shoulder may also go a little more backwards. By the way, pay attention, your body is slightly away from the pole, that is, the chest is not pressed against the pole and there is a small distance between it and the pole. So the final position of the dragon tail is when your free leg is pulled back and bent, in fact, like a tail and the second leg remains in the same position that is straight taken forward and you continue to feel grip in the inside hip let's take another look at what has changed where compared to the chopper position slightly the position of the body the head went back and the position of the free leg to get out of this element it's most convenient to hook your inside leg back and then move your inside hand up and then when you got your support, we grip the outside arm, get it from behind your back and then go out as though the chopper position, holding on with both hands, the outside one is slightly higher. I note that it will be more convenient for someone to first get the outside bent arm of the pole from behind the back and only then we grip the arms higher on the pole. In one case or another, it's important to feel a good grip with the inside thigh all the time. 
So this was the dragon tail element in the basic variation. Please note that if at any stage of mastering this trick you feel switch discomfort in the shoulders or in the wrists, then it's too early for you to do the full version. Train the element to the stage where you are still comfortable and in parallel work on flexibility if you feel that you still lack it. It is very important to gradually approach any element so as not to be injured but to master it when your body is ready. And now let's move on to a more complex version. We will do it from the outside leg hang. So after the chopper catch the pole with your outside knee and move the inside hand down in a support thumb down grip. Next bend in the body and move the pole to the hip of the free leg. Grab on the pole with your free hand as well as in the basic version. That is with the bent arm thumbs up grip. Start moving your body down, lower your arm more and bring your body and shoulder down and back behind the pole. Please note that your shoulder also goes a little forward. It helps to keep a good support. The elbow may be slightly bent. Keep the wrist of the supporting hand straight and pay attention. Here we have a pretty strong arch in the lumbar region. If you do not have such a flexibility yet, then you do not need to do this element. And one more important point, in this variation we literally lay down with our pelvis and hip on the outside arm. So this variation is available not only to very flexible, but also to sufficiently strong trained pole dancers. So we lower our inside leg onto the arm and open the other leg into the split. That is, it is a variation of the dragon tail in the split. Please note, although we really literally lay down with our pelvis and hip on our arm, it, in fact we do not do it with a relaxed body. We control the arch as much as possible, we hold it with our muscles so as not to lie completely on the arm, but still lean more on it. To get out of this element, hook the pole using outside knee again. Remove the outside hand from the pole and move it up, then move the second hand and go up. Let me remind you once again that this variation is quite complicated and it is not suitable for everyone. If so far you lack flexibility and strength qualities, it's okay to continue working on this and gradually approach a higher level. I also want to add a little bit about flexibility. Of course, over flexibility such as these girls is a long-term work from childhood, when the body is more plastic and prone to such amplitudes. And perhaps you don't need to strive for such a level right now, but you can always work on flexibility for more beautiful amplitudes available to you. You can gradually develop your flexibility while taking care of your health. We have separate online courses on effective and safe stretching. There is a course on how to get into all splits and a cool course on safe scorpion stretch, where we work on the flexibility of the back and shoulders and I really recommend these courses to you. I train on them myself and feel progress. These courses are from a very competent teacher and if flexibility is your goal, you want to train effectively but safely, learn important theory and secrets of flexibility, then follow the link in the description. Purchase the course that is most relevant to you right now. Well, I wish you success in training, mastering new elements and practicing only for fun. See you soon! Bye!